Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at the new released Dream Brew from StableBoost.ai. These are some really nice results that we're going to get. I'm going to show you how we can actually get to this stage. We can actually generate these portraits of ourselves. We can modify them by throwing in prompts to the model, and then it will actually generate these images. First of all, we're just going to StableBoost.ai. We can go inside the models, and then we can create our own model. We basically just hit create here. I have already trained my model, which we're going to see some results on at the end. We can basically just hit create your own we can just specify what we are we can have like man woman person couple um also if you have a dog or a cat that you want to generate these ai images with here we're just going to choose man then we also need to like capture a bunch of images of ourselves. you can just use your phone take some images from your phone and then just upload them here into st stableboost.ai you just need like around 20 uh, 20 photos here of ourself 10 close up five of a body three full body and two side profiles so these are just recommendations. We can also see some examples of good photos and also some examples of bad photos. We see some do's and don'ts. Basically, we can just upload our images. So I just capture some images with my phone. These are just the images that I'm using in my thumbnails. We can just hit Control A and we can use old images. We're going to hit open and then it will upload the images here into Stable Boost and it will then train a model to actually like learn the features in your face. So we're actually going to see that this model learns a lot of features. It's going to find like all the features in my hair, like forehead, like even my eyebrows and the nose. So we're going to get some really crazy results and we can basically just get generated like all different kind of like portraits in different styles and so on. We just throw in some prompts. We're going to see some examples from some random prompts and then we're also going to generate and fine tune some prompts ourselves. We can see some do's and don'ts with the images and we can also specify the name of our model. We're just going to call that Nigo. And then when it's actually like done uploading the images, we can go down to the bottom. We can specify some advanced options. I've just used default ones. These are pretty good. Uh, you can like fine tune them a bit, but just go with the uh, go with the default ones. The model will take roughly like one to two hours to train. Mine took around like 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes to train. And then you will get not notified by email or your phone. You can just hit down, down here at the bottom, you can just hit create model and then it will train it. You'll get notified when it's done training and then you can use it. It will actually like generate some previews for you. First of all, it will generate some random prompts and then it will generate images based on those prompts. Then when the model is done training, you'll get the options over here to the left. So we can basically just see the images that it's generating. First of all, we can see some random prompts that it just throws in as examples. So basically we just have all these different kind of prompts. You can fine tune them. You can throw in your own prompts and generate the images. You can either like just delete all of those, throw in your own prompts, generate a specific style for your portraits that you want. So here we can see some examples, like for example, a portrait of me as a cosmic god surrounded by galaxies. Uh, a portrait of me as a Harry Potter, a character in Gryffindor, cyberpunk style. We can specify both like the style. We can also specify the style of an artist and all those different kind of things as we can do with Stable Diffusion. Um, and then we can basically just specify what direct like want to draw with the model that we're trained on our images of ourselves. You can throw in your own prompts or just add some and, uh, random prompts down here at the bottom. Hit generate image images and then it will generate the images down here at the bottom. We have some different kind of like filters, uh, but now we're just going to look at some of the results that we get. So we get some really crazy results. I've just been sitting here like really mind blown for like a couple of hours just going through some of these examples. Just just to see all the details in these images is just, it's just crazy. It's mind blowing. Just that these AI models here are actually like capable of finding old features in my face, generating my face in new like environments with different kind of like features. Uh, in different styles by different like artists, cyberpunk, like uh, modern styles in some kind of like old fashioned style, old school styles and all those different kind of things. Here we can, for example, see me, uh, a portrait of me as an, uh, an army general. We can see here video, video game character. We can see all the, all the details here. Another example of an army uh, general. Here we can just go in and see an example. We can see all the details in my eyebrows. Uh, we can see the details in my hair, like the, the ear, my nose, even like we have different kind of like shadows here. So depending on where is the photos taken from, uh, what are the lighting conditions and so on, then it will actually like take into account like where the shadows should be in the image. So this is just really crazy. So like sometimes when I see these results, I, I'm just like, I'm just laughing because it's just mind blowing that 
AI model is actually like able to do this. We're just throwing a bunch of images of ourselves. We train a model for some time. And then we're just throwing some prompts, generate some new styles of ourselves, put ourselves in different environments, create portraits. I'm going to use all of these examples here for my uh, thumbnails, uh, future like video content, like image content and all those different things. We got just get really nice and detailed images. We can scroll down a, a bit here. We can see also see me uh, as an example of a portrait of myself by Picasso. So this is basically just a portrait of me in the style of Picasso. We get some really nice details as well. Here we have a bit more like photorealistic image, but this is me as a wizard. This is also a really nice detailed image. We can see like the shadows in my face, uh, the shadows down here. We can see my, my ear, my hair here. We can just, just see like all details in my hair. This neural network here and the model is basically just learning all the features in my face, even like the structure of my nose, uh, my chin, the forehead, eyebrows, even the eyes, the color stuff, the eyes. It just gets everything, it learns all the features and then it can actually like reconstruct and re act like generate these images based on new prompts that it gets. It's not really like that complicated prompts. It's just a portrait of me as a comic book character, professional headshot. Here we're just going to like scroll down and see a bit more of these examples that we get. Uh, we also get uh, some bad results here. So this is like a futuristic uh, example in a cyberpunk world. So this is not really as good an example, but we can just see like, it is not often that we get these examples. We mostly get some really cool detailed ones. So this is actually like a really nice, this could actually like be a really nice detailed drawing, uh, which would actually like take like several hours by and, and, and actually like artists, like real person artists compared to these AI model models that just gener generate them in seconds, which basically just have an, a model learning all the features in my face. And then we just have these prompts. We combine everything and then we just get these crazy, crazy results. Here we can also see some other different like details. Here we get a bit more like um, anime style. We get some um, a bit more colors. <laughs> this is also pretty funny. So this is actually like also a really nice like kind of like character style of myself. Uh, and as a portrait, we can also see me as a race driver. Uh, here we have a, an example of a fashion model. Uh, this is not... This is not really that good. Maybe Stable Fusion don't think that I'm a fashion model. Maybe it just tries to tell me something. Don't go down that pathway. You are not. Uh, you are not a fashion model. Just stick with like doing video content, making tutorials about computer vision, deep learning, and so on. Maybe I'm. I'm just born for doing these things. Maybe I should not be sure like a career in fashion modeling. Maybe someone is trying to tell me something, but this is not a good result. Uh, this is not a good result. Some of the other ones here are way, way better. Here we see a really nice portrait of me. That, like this is also like kind of like photorealistic. We get some nice shadows again. Uh, here we get another style here. It is in pastel colors. Uh, we also get <laughs> like these are styles here, just crazy. Like I can't stop laugh, uh, laughing. Uh, just the details that we get. We can just scroll up here a bit again. We can see all the details. This is actually like how my left eyebrow looks like this is the, the exact structure of my uh, of my eyebrows we can see like the details in the nose um the hair uh, my, my chin and so on so these are some really crazy results i hope you will actually like, be able to just go in here play around with it yourself train it on your like dog train it on your cat train it on yourself try to generate some really nice prompts combine everything see these results here i promise you even though it costs a bit to actually like, train a model uh, cost a model on yourself it will pay off. It will be worth it like many, many times because you can spend like several hours just looking at these images. And I've just been sitting here like for several hours being mind blown. I can't understand it. I can't really believe that this is actually like possible by just like uploading a bunch of images. And these are results that we get. We can even go in and fine tune the prompts uh, that is actually like generating these images. So it's just crazy. I'm really excited for the future. We're definitely going to get better results. These models will just keep on improving. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. I'm definitely going to create way more videos in the future about like this uh, dream booth by stable booth, how we can actually like, generate these AI images um, with the use of prompts, teaching models, how to actually like, learn the features in our uh, faces and all those different kind of things. So I'm going to create way more in the future. The future is really exciting. So I just hope to see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.